Well, hello everyone. What day of the week is it? Monday, Tuesday? I don't even know anymore. I travel so much, guys. So happy Tuesday, everyone. My team is telling me it's Tuesday. Honestly, don't freaking know what day of the, the week it is. Um, <clears throat> let me comment below. Let me um, bring my comments. So first of all, I apologize that we are doing it not in a school. We're doing it on YouTube. We are live. It's just easier for us. We have so many problems with the Zoom. For those of you who don't know how Zoom works, you know, Zoom is very complicated to do it, um, you know, to many people, especially uh, if you trying to do Zoom in the like light speed, not directly at Zoom. There's so many rules. You cannot do 1080. I mean, it just it was a mess for us. So Jasmine saying hello to Texas family roofing. What's popping? I'll tell you what's popping. Uh, we're talking about sales commission today and guys, I travel every week now. I see so many businesses. I see the good, the bad, the ugly. I see companies who are doing what everybody else is doing. And then I see companies who go against the grain, who goes, you know, and applies practices that have never been applied in this industry before. And this is exactly what Monarch Roofing is doing. And um, I've been absolutely amazed with the, that company in particular, but also a few others. So here's uh, what we're going to do today. It is going to be very short life, about 20 minutes. I'm not going to uh, waste uh, your work day on this, but I really want to give you a couple ideas what you can be doing, how you can be rewarding your sales guys. And I'm going to give you Monarch Roofing approach. i also going to uh, give you a few specifics that they do and they don't do. I talked to Martin two weeks ago. He's actually working on a really, really big piece of content about their sales structure. So he he's it, it's so complicated. You cannot share it in one uh, hour video. I actually called him to um, to kind of get an exact structure. And he told me, Dimitri, in about two weeks, I'll have it all, all in writing. It'll be like uh, in a blog format. And he will... Um, Martin is a, a CEO of Monarch Roofing, and he will share with me and you know with the world pretty much how they pay their salespeople. But I'll give you a really good idea so you guys understand. Here's the first thing that I want to tell you. I actually got a call today from someone up north from um, Connecticut, and this guy, you know, pretty much told me the reason how do I sell insurance jobs because I see storm chasers they're doing this, and I want to do that because all I see is this big checks and I see these big numbers. And my first message to you today is stop looking on your phone. Stop following people who seem to be wealthy, seem to be, you know, like all on outside. Stop looking at what people drive. Stop looking at people's checks that they post. You don't know what's going on in the business. I'm telling you right now, I've been in so many businesses that on outside, it's so good and it's so flashy when you dive in inside there's you know that noise does not reflect to consistency and success inside the company the biggest noises that i see in the industry are actually the one who goes broke and they always have excuse why they go broke uh, there's many people who should not be uh, <clears throat> teaching this kind of stuff because they don't have a track record companies like monarch proofing that's the only type of companies I want you to learn from. So here's what we have right now. We have, you know, like if this is your roofing business, we, you have sales department, you're going to have administration. Let me get a different market. You have admins. Then you have production. And especially in the storm chasing model, these departments are very far from each other. Sales guys usually do marketing. They do, they pretty much control the business because they control the cash flow business. Usually, storm chasing business model depends on this. And uh, I'll tell you why I'm explaining this. So, if you're new to it, if you've never done storm chasing and you don't know how storm chasing works, storm chasing to me personally is the worst. Most business owners are hostages to salespeople. They usually have no leverage because they don't provide leads. They don't provide um, branding. It's pretty much you go on your own and you sell, sell, sell. Just yesterday, I was with a company 
and the company lost the sales rep to another uh, to, not, to to competition. And the guy literally took a job, been promised a salary, but he has to sell, build, collect the whole nine yards. And the owner who lost him is asking him like, hey, why are you work, working for that company now? Why are you not going on your own and build your own business? Because you're doing it all anyway. He's like, no, I'm doing it under their name. The only thing the business have in that sense is that business name. So they sell, sell, sell. Um, they they think they don't have liability in reality and i cannot tell you how many people right now in my messages you know in sales departments like just yesterday again i have another uh, <clears throat> owner of business messaging me they want to hire the sales rep he's owed over fifty thousand dollars in commissions um business owner is not paying him for weeks did not get any jobs nothing um, is produced in production department so the guy knows if he leaves, he's probably not going to ever see that $50,000. And it's catch 22. Do I leave and I go work for someone I trust and trust my future, trust my well-being? Or do I keep eating on these promises and keep staying? It's, it's a big problem in the industry. So administration usually controls stuff like IQ links, job names, your CRMs, accounting. And businesses usually think that they have leverage because... And this is exactly what they do. You sell for them, you know, whatever the promises, 50-50 split, 10% of the top, wherever the case is. And by the way, if you're paying more than 15% of the gross, you're paying too much. Your, your, your gross profit margin should be about 40% and your sales commissions from the gross should not be more than 15. That's just flat out, like, that's your check there. If you're paying anything more than 15%, you paying too much. You, you don't run sustainable business. Sooner or later, you will be closing your business. So I've seen guys paying 20, 25%. And why? Because sales guys are good not only selling jobs, but they're also good selling value to the business owner. Hey, I'll bring you $2 million a year, but I want a 20% of it. And we're suckers. Like, we negotiate and, and we agree to it. This is not a good deal to you. Most businesses that I'm teaching you from, they do profit margins in the north of 20%. And get this, their sales commission go uh, actually about 6%, 6 7%. So many people will argue with me and say, Demetria, it's impossible. You cannot run the roofing business and getting away with the paying sales commission 6 7%. Well, you can be stubborn, you can argue, and you can say it cannot be done. But what if I tell you, even those companies, big storm chasers who on paper paying you 50-50 profit splits and pay you 12% in reality, if you look at the actual data, how much people actually get paid, it's still 6-7%. Uh, I hate to keep bringing this guy, but if you look at guys like Delmedico, guys who claim $180 million in their lifetime, look how many disputes they have. And how many people did not get paid what they have been promised? So just because you're promising 15% does not mean that sales rep actually will get it on the back end. Just because you're promising 50% or for, uh, you know 50, 50 minus 10 for overhead does not mean that you're actually going to get it. So here's what companies like Monarch Roofing is doing, are doing. They're under a business completely different. Their sales department actually connected to production connected to administration and they actually have three kind of three um, departments of sales. They have a field sales rep, they have office sales rep and their production is also set up to sell. So pretty much in Monarch Roofing, everybody can sell. Recently, they have a couple guys who sold over a million dollars. And when I talked to Martin about it, he's like, Demisha, this is awesome. Like two guys, they, they've done way above million dollars in just last two months each and he said it would not be possible i'm like how can you sell million dollars per month i mean for many of you guys it's 12 months because they're not selling it by themselves you need to understand in companies like monarch roofing the whole organization the way they build the company is the whole company sells their production department sells their office sells their field uh, sales guy sells everybody in the company sells so their field sales guy, like your traditional sales rep, he goes, and here's uh, the problems they solve. 
the field sales guy goes on the field, runs the appointment. How many times you've seen, how many times you've seen this scenario where a sales manager is begging their sales guys to follow up? What Monarch Roofing is doing, all right. Sales rep is there just to meet homeowner, you know, present them with the, uh, with ideas, with the colors, with stuff like that. But follow up calls. What if you take? What, what if you offload that field sales rep, and you will give someone else the follow ups, um, the um, you know other phone calls? Like let's say if homeowner is not ready right away, because they can, the only way they can you can do it if you are not paying them huge commission. So in Monarch Proofing, uh, they don't have traditional uh, sales commission, and many people think that. Uh, Sales guys will not be motivated. And I asked Martin that question, like, what motivates your sales guys? Well, think outside the box. In Mon At Monarch Roofing, sales guys literally think about their job as a corporate jobs. They don't think that they have to hustle. They show up at work, they go around a couple appointments, and then after those appointments are run, sold or not sold, someone else will follow up, someone else will do the campaigns. They have so many people selling that sales uh, guys on the field literally only touching the jobs and they don't care who will get a credit for it so if i go in and i present the job and then tomorrow i have four more appointments so traditionally in the roofing industry everybody wants to get credit because everybody wants to get commission but if you're getting hundred thousand dollar a year job so let's say you you, you get fifteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollars but it's not tied to your commissions. It's tied to your performance. I'm telling you what to do. I'm telling you, hey, man, I need you to run the appointments every single day because we have too many. And then I'm going to help you to follow up with them. I'm going to help you um, to point uh, to point that um, homeowner in different direction. Maybe sometimes it's a um, production department will step in to help you with the takeoff. So what sales guys absolutely hate? They hate paperwork. They hate doing materialist and stuff like that. If you upload your sales guys and just say, okay, you run an appointments, you present in our companies, you ask for business, but we're going to help you with everything else. Now, those two guys, if they do what they do best, meeting new homeowners, representing your company, sometimes it's easy sales. Sometimes it's, you know, writing, uh, signing contracts, collecting checks on, on the spot. And sometimes it's maybe more complicated um, you, you need to prepare different presentations for visual of siding. You need to come back to measure the roof. Maybe you need, uh, maybe some custom work needs to be uh, involved. And now you have to get a production team, you know, to quote custom chimney. I, I can't do it. I met the homeowner. I told them we'll get back to them. But we lose in this business so many deals because sales guys cannot be experts in everything. What Monarch Roofing has done really, really well they incentivize entire team so in their company everybody is involved in sales not only sales guys sales guys don't know what kind of deals they're gonna have like think about this you sold million dollars but the only reason you sold million dollars per month is because you have three people in your back helping you to do that so it's it's a team of three but as a business owner i see <clears throat> only benefits here because you give credit of $1 million for four people who are touching those jobs. And if you break it down, that's quarter million a, uh, a month per person. Well, even four, pe four people who just do sales, they sometimes cannot do a uh, quarter million dollars per month. I know it sounds out of the box. I know it sounds uh, <clears throat> complicated, but it's not that complicated. You only can be good at one thing and one thing only. At Monarch Roofing, sales guys only sell people in the office. You know how many jobs Monarch Roofing sells from the office? You know, people who answer the phone calls at Monarch Roofing can sell a job. In our businesses, often we're afraid to give that power to people. We're afraid, uh, you know, we want, want to make sure that there's someone is accountable, someone also always there because we want to make sure the work order is right. And in reality, we overwhelm our sales guys. And sales guys are doing way too much. And when you do too much, you cannot be productive anymore. Your limit will be two, three $300,000 a month. Now, 
You know, uh, Rodney Webb share a story. I'm a big fan of Rodney Webb. Rodney Webb had been selling so many gutters back in the day in Atlanta. One of the things Rodney Webb did, he hired a girl to drive him around the town. When he was going on appointments, he hated doing um, driving and he hated doing um, drugs. One of the things he did, he hired someone to, to make sure that his work orders will be on point, his drafts, his you know, your gutter maps and stuff like that. So he would show up at appointment driving in the back seat <laughs> like a big bowler. And he would have this girl, you know, driving him around and doing work orders for him. This is exactly what we're talking about. When you have monarchs uh, roofing and I will share entire, like I will make another video uh, about monarch system based on their blogs. But this is just to give you an idea, to, to give you this conversation. I've been in their company. Number one feedback I'm getting from industry right now, when I tell people don't pay commissions, pay salary, everybody's arguing like, no, uh, sales guys will not be motivated. Well, I've seen it. I've seen Monarch roofing sales guys, and they are motivated. You know why they're motivated? Because their paycheck is always there on Fridays. Because they do what they love, and someone is helping them to do what they hate. You know, you, you have people in the office, like, and that sales guy can literally be on files accounting total of $1 million. But when he needs help from production, production manager is there to help. Uh, office sales rep is there to help. Office gals is there to follow up. They work as a team. Every fo like in traditional roofing business model, we want sales to be in sales department and production. Even in my business back in the day, production just wanted to see folders. At Monarch Roofing, it never stops. They all work as a team and they work beautiful. As and as a result. The company is extremely profitable. Company actually have enough money to pay other people. You know, one of the reasons we we don't have money to pay people is because we pay too much sales, guys. But in the reverse, we actually overwhelm them. So we give them jobs that they absolutely hate. It's It would be the same um, if you know construction, guys, you know, in the drywall world, I never could understand it before, but you have guys who only want to hang drywall and then you have guys who finish. They, you will rarely find a guy who will hang drywall and a finished drywall because it's a, it's a certain skill. You cannot be good at everything. Some guys will come in and if you've been around construction for a couple of years, you will, uh, you know what I'm talking about. You walk in in a you know, framed house and you will see that crew. They're so efficient coming in and out day or two. Boom. Like, how did you do it? Have you ever hanged drywall by yourself? You know, you want to make sure it doesn't break. You hold it on your hands. You you know, your, your hands are tight. You're trying to hang it on the ceiling. When those guys walk in, they put the stilts on. I used to have a pair of those. They work so efficient and boom, in and out fast. And then drywall guys coming in, just finishers. Boom, 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 in and out. Well, the same happening in our sales teams. I've seen my sales guys and my office overwhelmed, like sitting there. Like I've seen them with the, with the homeowners and doing the magic. They come in, they're so pumped, like, how can I help you, blah, 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 sign a contract. Energy is through the roof during the appointments. And then they come to the office and they have to do all the paperwork and they have to get yelled by sales manager because they missed the caller. They, they did not collect something. Or donkey sign was not signed or gutter map is you know, not clear or they miss something or they have a question about how many pie boots they have. So they don't know everything. So at Monarch Roofing, their sales guys don't do everything. Their team actually helps them to sell. Their production helps them with, with <clears throat> work orders and stuff like that. And as a result, sales guys doing what they do best. Every time someone calls and requests sales rep, he goes in. He doesn't have to necessarily... Uh, sell and I've seen it too many times. I have guys working for me on the sp not splits but uh, on commissions who would be sitting on the folders for two three weeks. Let me tell you this: at Monarch Roofing, it's not happening because when you start sharing responsibilities, yes, in a sense, those sales guys are getting paid way less than industry standard on paper, but in the reality, they're getting paid way more because 
Monarch Roofing going to be forty million dollar company, and their sales guys are taken care of. Their guests is paid in their vehicles. They represent the company. They have good corporate jobs. You know, they're proud to say that they work for Monarch Roofing. And I guarantee you this: if you work for Storm Chaser or shitty contractor, um, you cannot say the same. And I, I cannot tell you how many people in my DMs right now complaining about their job sites, complaining about contractors they're working for. You know, all these disputes like, hey, Dmitry, you know, I owe this much. I don't know what to do. I want to switch the company, but I'm afraid I'm not going to get paid. You know, we don't get those complaints for companies like Monarch. And Monarch is not the only one. There are probably 10, 15 Monarchs in the country right now who's doing stuff completely different, who's building different culture. You know why? Because over the years, I'm going to say it on air, over the years, we've been paying too much. Um, easy money, easy go. Do you know why we have alcohol and drug problem? I'll tell you why. Because when you take a 25-year-old and you give him $20,000 in one month, what's going to happen? If you have a son and you're going to give him Ferrari that he did not earn at the age of 18, what's going to happen? You can you can find a reason why you want to give him Ferrari. You you know you're wealthy. He's a hustler. He graduated high school. But there's a stuff you don't do in life. And when you compensate people because they're hustlers, because they have a skill or talent, I'm not against compensating people for the value they bring. I understand that two million dollars to you is huge, but I'm telling you, if you want to build solid roofing business, if you want to build Monarch Roofing. You do what Monarch Roofing is doing. You you build a sales organization. You don't put all your uh, eggs in sales department. You don't rely on it. You don't, you know, what's happening is our sales department has been glorified for years and other, other departments have been neglected. And as a result, sales guy has been quitting because sales guy can go and sell, sell, sell. And then production will fall behind. Now, sales guy looks bad company looks bad, reviews are going down, everybody gets discouraged, let's close the door, start a new company. That's what has been happening for years. What's happening now is, you know, we start raising production, we start finally understanding that it's all about customer service. If you follow Monarch's Roofing, by the way, Monarch's Roofing number one lead source is social media. Think about that for a minute. People who answer their phone calls sell in sales, they have people who works in the office, who are uh, office salespeople who never go in the field. They work in pairs. Every nobody gets commissions, but everybody gets nice bonuses. I promise you this: people are not underpaid in Monarch Surfing, but they work like a solid machine, solid organization. They think outside the outside the box, and. I cannot tell you to do the same, but I want you to start thinking, what can you do different in your market? Stop looking at the left and right. Stop looking at what competition is doing because it doesn't work. You know, Lee Haight makes a lot of noise. Anthony Delmatico makes a lot of noise. But look at the true track record. Sometimes I'll watch a video of another guru for 45 minutes and I don't understand what he's saying. And I don't see that he's done anything different. You can build a solid bread. I'm telling you, it's it's all it's all about customer service. Um, it's all about people falling in love, not with the personality of the sales rep, but with the entire business. You know, one uh, I actually have Amber here in the room, and I have we have a um, <clears throat> tenor. Unfortunately, he uh, left us. Uh, work for Wells Fargo. I love when people, when you know, when I travel, when people tell me that they love roofing insights because. You know, Amber is awesome because Eager Videographer is awesome because Max Graphic Designer is awesome. Roofing Insights is not Dimitri. We are the team here, and I could not do what I do if I wouldn't have people in every department like Quentin Super. We would not have magazine without him. So Roofing Insights, you know, success is not because of my hard work as a team. What do people say about your brand? What do... Where's the sales are coming from? Is it because you have one or two sales guys or because your entire team sells? Ask yourself that question because at Monarch Roofing, entire team, their production department is in sales, literally in sales. Their production department sells the jobs all the time. Their receptionist 
their marketing department, their repair department, everybody in the company sells jobs because it's a team effort. And those jobs will be attributed to one or two sales guys. Their, their sales guys are literally order takers. And I want to finish this live today. We've already been in 30 minutes. I promise you it's going to be shorter than an hour. The last thing is uh, I see this negative narrative recently towards order takers. They're like, oh, bullshit. If you take away commissions, you know, who needs order takers? So I don't want to order takers in my company. I don't want people who rely on leads. Listen, I will take order takers all the time at Monarch Roofing. If you talk to CEO of the company, all his sales guys are order takers. When you build a solid brand that in demand, when people are ready to do business with you, all you have to do is to send the right person at the right time to take that order. It doesn't matter if it's 20, 30, $40,000 jobs. People are ready to sign. That's why people love companies like Eustace. I'm talking about salespeople. They like working for them. You, my friend, if you're in sales, you might be looking for a company who will give you 40% of the profit, but you'll have to do all the work and it'll be extremely hard to get one or two sales a day. Or you can work for someone like Monarch Roofing and do four or five orders per day, make the same money, but it's consistent. It's fun. You're not doing it alone. You have an entire team backing you up. So Monarch Roofing is thinking outside the box. They build solid organization. Their salespeople are order takers. They have small pay weekly. I'm, I'll answer questions and we'll be wrapping up. So we'll, they, will, uh, they pay people small salary weekly. And on top of that, they're giving them very nice bonuses based on team performance. So if they have a good month, everybody's getting you know good pace and stuff. So let's... Um, I want to recognize a few people here. Texas Family Roofing, what's popping? Hello, Texas. We're actually going to be in Texas tomorrow. Three days in Texas, next three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Houston area. So I'll let you guys know where I am. Maybe we'll take a dinner or something. Hello from John's Roofing Siding in Windows, Connecticut. Hello, Jasmine. Um, looking forward to this live. I appreciate you talking, taking the time to do this. Very important topic. Yes, sir. Hello from Texas. Hey, Bison Roofing. Illinois is in the house. Acosta Angela Construction Roofing. Um, Lawrence Riesler. ID left a trail. Uh, Anthony Domedical left a trail of broken dreams. Yes, sir. Yes, he did. Love this. We are working on creating a team within our company working toward the same goal. Five-star customer experience from the first phone call to final invoice. By the way, we just visited uh, John Delarier. Cannot say his last name, probably butchered it. Um, you're going to be absolutely amazed about the solution that John created. He has a small app, videos coming to YouTube probably next week. If my videographer will not punch me for giving deadlines here. But anyway, um, next week, guys, um, you'll see some content from John. Anyway, thanks for your time. We're done for the day. Uh, sorry if it was not deep enough. Um, CEO of Monarch Roofing will be sharing in the blog exactly what they do in Monarch. If I can give you advice who to follow, that would be Monarch Roofing. Those guys, are, they're doing it right. It's a hard work. It's very hard to follow, but it's worth the energy to actually understand and wrap your brand around because they are market leaders. They're not going anywhere. They're doing a lot of things right. Learn from them. All right, guys. See you later.